Hello guys, how are you? Uh, this is Varul Tafkrishi and uh, uh, in this video I am going to show you how to uh, mm, connect the uh, Windows host or any other device to the uh, real internet uh, in EVNG environment, right? So uh, I'll take uh, uh, one Windows machine and I'll also take uh, any other device uh, so I don't have much here I'll take the ASA I'll take the ASA V okay and 905 and start save and I'll take the network okay so here I will select in the network I'll select manager but before this before this what you need to do into your EVNG is you need to right click and go to settings and here you should have at least two uh, adapters so uh, here the first one is your management the second will be used for your uh, uh, like external interface right for bridging and it should be bridged so it should be the setting should be bridged and uh, this is how it should be and you should have two interfaces okay once you have this go to your um, GUI right click network and select the management cloud and save so this will work at work as your internet so here if I go again I'll I'll select the management cloud okay I'll add two networks so one I'll uh, connect to the Windows machine and one I'll connect to the ASA and I'll start both the nodes uh, so once this is started I need to do some configurations right that, uh, on the machines so that uh, they can uh, go over to the internet uh, so I'll, I'll be using a uh, uh, static IP address instead of DHCP uh, so the thing is this will be bridged to your real network that you have your interface have in your interface so for me it's uh, the Wi-Fi connection and that is into 192.168.1.5 series so I'll put some uh, IP address in that range uh, in my devices and I can also in, 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 in Windows I can also go with DHCP so or else I can just uh, choose an IP address from that range and uh, put my default gateway as so 192.168.1.1 and then and then I'll be able to go to the internet and likewise in the ACI I can uh, configure uh, the uh, uh, IP address in the same uh, 192.161 range right so let these uh, devices boot up and then we can start with the configuration okay guys uh, the windows machine and the asa has be has started and now we let's start configuring the asa first and then we'll go to the uh, windows machine right so if, uh, here you enable and let's see the version of asa uh, i am running is 9.5 anyways so this is asa v so i'll go to the gig 00 interface right here you can see it's gig 00 interface uh, which I have connected uh, to this uh, 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 cloud network right so after this I'll go to configure terminal interface gigabit 0 slash 0 uh, IP address so I need to give this uh, in the range of 1 dot uh, let's say triple 1 is my VM right I'll give this 150 and then the subnet mask of slash 24 and then name I'll keep this as name if um, say outside outside okay and then no we'll shutdown uh, security level is set to zero by default I don't care about that it's fine exit and show interface IP brief I should have 
okay i have a 92.168.1.150 as an ip address so i can ping my uh, uh def i should be able to ping my uh, default gateway that is 1.1 see i am but i'll not be able to ping uh, internet right 8.8.8 .8 no not possible because i don't have the default route for that i need to uh, add a route route add uh, a route outside sorry in uh, this um, uh, AC unit, uh, you just uh, give this. Uh, uh, this is the syntax to set up the uh, default gateway. Route outside zero zero means any any, uh, and then uh, you go with the uh, uh, the gateway. One to one enter done. Now I'll be able to reach anybody on the internet. But DNS will not be working working with this, so I will not be able to ping www.google.com. Not possible. Okay, so that is a different topic how to set up the DNS and all. So, this is how you can add a device inside ASA, say a Windows machine inside ASA, and then, right, and then your Windows machine will be able to go to internet through your ASA, and then you can apply some filtering over there and whatnot. Okay, this is how it's done for the ASA uh, or any other device. So, you can have a router whatever you like so I'll stop this ASA and let's uh, do this on the um, uh, PC now so if I go to, uh, go to the PC and try to open a website uh, that won't work right that won't work uh, until unless I have DHCP configured yeah I have DHCP so I'll uh, uh, go to run and run and cmd right cmd and i'll check my ip address of the uh, ip config so yeah i've got the ip address from the dhcp okay so like here then you just need, simply need to go to any website and that's done or else if you want to configure a static IP address that you can do um, by going to the uh, okay something has happened and I'm not able to okay I've stopped the Windows machine oh, my mistake so I had to stop this only I've stopped the Windows machine so I'll stop this uh, and delete it uh, let's wait for the Windows machine to come up I'll delete this also so yeah guys so this is the uh, Windows Suite inside and I can uh, from here I can ping any uh, internet address right so I'm able to ping 8.8 .8. also the DNS will be working because uh, DHCP would have got the uh, DNS address right so I can ping Google from here say uh, www.google.com so this will be working translation of the IP address is happening and then I can go to the browser as well and type in google.com so in this case you didn't have to do any settings right just connect the system to the network and DHCP would get do the, uh, the rest of the things so in case you need a static IP right in case you need a static IP you can go to run and uh, go to the ncpa.cpl the network adapters and this one you need to change this from uh, uh, the TCP IP protocol to use the following address like this and you can use any of your uh, IP addresses that is not used inside uh, the particular subnet right and you can give the DNS manually and uh, like this and 4.2.2.2 and okay and okay so now the system would have uh, static IP right not the IP that the D, uh, DHCP gave it so we'll check this from the command line CMD IP config you see you have 188 right now also you can reach the internet but now you have a static IP from the uh, 
pool right google.com so you can reach even you can open the browser and open up any website say youtube right so youtube also you can open so this is how uh, you uh, access uh, the uh, connect the internet to the windows host or any device inside your uh, evng right so uh, this is it guys I uh, hope you like my video thanks for watching my videos and please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos and please do comment that what you want in my next videos I'll try to um, uh, record those videos and upload and if you have any questions please uh, put them in my comments comment section thank you thanks bye bye